Alright, if you notice I'm wearing the same shirt, it's because of the same day. And I'm not playing games, alright? I'm uploading back to back. For all my people who's collected sneakers earlier throughout the years, man, we got a shoe that you guys should be very, very familiar with. The last time we seen this sneaker was in 2006, alright? We were still wearing 4XTs, cranking that Soldier Boy, and we was probably wearing rubber bands instead of Apple Watch. Jordan Brand decided to give us this sneaker once again, and I couldn't be more excited. So, in the studio, here we have the Air Jordan 5 Green Bean. Let's get into it. What is going on everybody? It is your boy Sniper Jones and welcome back to another video and here we have another Air Jordan review. Looking at this box man you can already tell what we got going on other than the thumbnail and I previously already mentioned what we looking at. Yeah yeah if you ignore those two things the box is a clear giveaway. All silver box with this lime, uh, lima bean green Jordan Jumpman on the front of the box because we have an Air Jordan 5 in the building and it actually is one of them ones. Bye y'all, here we have the Air Jordan 5 Green Bean, all right? You know, this gives me a, uh, you know, it, I don't know the vibes this shoe give me. If y'all watch Danny Phantom back when you was a kid on Nickelodeon, it give me Danny Phantom vibes, you know what I'm saying? Dark. The green is very bright, kind of pops a little bit. I remember when I, I don't, let me let me stop lying. I don't remember when the shoe dropped, but I remember when these were still out. And what I mean by that is when the shoe dropped in 2006, people were probably still wearing these in 2008, 2009. And I remember when people had these on foot. And I was a huge fan of them back then. Back when the shoe was out, bro, like I really thought like in that time period that like it was super fire. And now, you know, Compared to y'all like popular beliefs, when I said the Air Jordan 5 cutting J's was bad, y'all got angry. I mean, very angry, to the point where I was out in freaking Arkansas and I got pressed by y'all. Yo, Snipe, yo, Snipe, bro. Why you don't like them J's Horizon 5? Bro, I'm in Arkansas. You know what's crazy, bro? Like, a lot of people get in front of the camera and they get like the ugliest shoes in the world. And all they do is act like it's like the coolest thing they ever seen. They get an ugly shoe and they be like, you gotta get these, they're, they're, they're amazing. I ain't never capped y'all like that one time. Never in my life. You would think you would get some love and respect for keeping it a buck with y'all, but on the contrary, if I don't agree with what y'all think is cool, y'all niggas be mad giving me thumbs down. I ain't gonna cap, bro. That's wild, bro. That's wild. I'm sorry to upset any of my guys who love the Air Jordan 5, and I'm even more sorry to upset anybody who loved the Air Jordan 5 Green Bean. Now, when I say that, I also want to include that I'm not calling this shoe mid. I'm not calling it trash. I'm gonna just say it ain't for me. And it ain't for me does not mean it's, it's trash, bro. It's just like... I have over 400 pairs of shoes. If I was to buy this shoe and put it in that closet, I would probably wear this shoe one time in four years. That's why I can't cop it. You know what I'm saying? Not because it's weak, not because it's trash, but I just know for a fact if I buy this, it's not being worn. And if I do wear it, it's one time, it's one and done. I got shoes that's 30 times better than this, I still haven't worn it, bro. And not because I'm sitting on ice. It's because I just haven't got to them yet. Enough about me. Let's let's get into the shoe. I do like how they got like, you know, the different color of gray on the upper. So you get like a lighter color of gray all on the top. That's all 3M, by the way. We get into that a little bit later. And then we get into like the darker panels of gray right here on the laces. You feel me? Even right here on the midsole. I think that that kind of gives it some depth. And I really feel like that uh, green gives it a nice pop. I'm glad it didn't make it dull, kind of weak. And even if it pops around the um, sock liner as well, because you know, if you're rocking these with shorts or anything where you can allow this to show, I definitely feel like it'll bring a lot more character to your Air Jordan 5. All right, so let's get into it, man. We know the Air Jordan 5 comes with that baby blue icy sole, which is, you know, uh, a heartbreaker when it get warm, but hey, you know what I'm saying? We wear our shoes, ladies and gentlemen. We wear our shoes. As I said earlier, we get the dark gray midsole with the shark teeth on the side of the Air Jordan. Moving up a little bit higher into this Air Jordan, this entire upper is all 3 m which basically means, man, if you out hanging out with the gang and y'all decide to take a group photo, tell them to put the flash on because you're going to be the guy with the glowing shoes, all right? It pays to be the guy with the glowing shoes. You know why? When y'all look back at that photo five, six years from now, you're going to be the guy, man. Hey, man, you remember you had them fives, man? Dang, man, they was looking clean when they was good. Exactly. I'm putting you on. I'm basically helping your Instagram throwback Thursday from five years ago right now. 
So in the comments, thank me for that, bro. You ain't even think about that, bro. Think about that. Gray on gray with the laces too, man. The laces are gray. The Cajun on the side of the Air Jordan 5, right? So we get the Air Jordan 5 and like the Cajun on it, it's almost like the same translucent material on uh, the outer show, which is cool. Just know, and Tom, as always, oxidization, if that's a word. It's gonna oxidize, all right? And this thing is gonna be yellow. And that's cool and all. Like I, I'm pretty sure like the OG pairs is like that too. I just kind of like, if you guys didn't see when I did the Air Jordan 4 uh, military black, they usually come with like uh, white netting, even though that ages as well. I just feel like uh, these ones age a little bit faster. Unfortunately, like if y'all remember, what was that? What was that? It was the Fragment 3s. Y'all remember how like the, the back heel of the Fragment 3s aged in like seven months? These won't do that, but that's what I'm talking about, that aging, man. But a lot of you, I mean, if you're a real sneakerhead, you don't mind no aging. Speaking of being a real sneakerhead, I think it's also important I tell y'all this, even though it's very cool to have an all 3M upper, one thing about an all 3M upper, it's a little bit more stiff when you walk. It's not like leather that you can just kind of roll with the punches. So what I mean by that is this toe box will be creased very easily because this upper is not regular, it's 3M. So it's a little stiff, it's like an actual sheet over the Air Jordan 5. On top of the Air Jordan 5 having a large uh, toe box, just being by the way the silhouette is set up, this will probably crease pretty easy, but it's still no reason for y'all to worry, all right? Man, you, you good. Go out there with your 3M shoes, man, and, and do your thing, dog. The pacifier lace lock, man. I, I don't know if I'm still the only guy that calls this a pacifier lace lock. I think a lot of people just gave it up and just started calling it a lace lock, but it's uh, see-through, translucent, with the uh, green on the lace lock as well. Get that Air Jordan jump man in that same green as the entire sneaker on the back heel of the shoe. And ladies and gentlemen, for my people who wonder when he's dropping, they will be releasing May 28th for the retail price of $200, which isn't bad because I would think that these would go for like $210, $220. You know what I mean? So, 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 hey, good price, good price. All three of them over, ain't seen these in a hundred years good price for sure not only will they be available in all retail stores foot locker dick sporting goods champ sports you name it but they also are already loaded up on the nike sneakers app just in case you want to you know what i'm saying to try your luck over there but these days it's like hitting the lottery I, I do think, however, this shoe will sell out pretty fast because it's nostalgia, man. You know, a lot of people in what we do, as in loving sneakers, buying sneakers, even watching the content that you're watching right now, a lot of nostalgia comes with buying shoes. I mean, like I said, the last time this shoe came out was 2006. I'm pretty sure this shoe means a lot to somebody. You know, maybe it was the first shoe that they got. Uh, maybe, you know, it was just a time in their life where they couldn't afford Air Jordans and this was like one of the ones that all their friends and family or people at the school was wearing and now they finally get a chance to buy these and they definitely will decide to cash in. More importantly, I always mention this when it comes to Air Jordan 5. That's why I kind of started a new liking for the 5. I'm more into like baggier clothes now. Nah, not like 2006 baggy, but instead of wearing like wearing the super skinny tight jeans we used to wear a few years ago, I like mine to be a little bit more looser now. One of the cool things about the Air Jordan 5 is by it being so bulky on the upper, it allows your jeans to kind of just stack on the top, right? And it, it looks pretty cool. So like, you know, Jordan 5s, Jordan 4s really work in that favor. With all things being said, I think Jordan brand did an amazing job on these. Once again, even though I said I won't be buying them, don't mean I don't like the shoe. I'm not buying them for my reasons. If I was a person who was starting a collection over, these would be bought in a heartbeat. I'm just not in that place right now. If you got an eye on these, if you like these, if you want to rock these, I definitely think it's a strong cop. It's a W cop. And you should definitely try to pursue these as much as you possibly can. Good luck to everybody watching. And before I get up out of here, all right, leave a like on the video, comment down below. And you know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous. But who really putting in that work, though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.